Hello again. Somebody got in touch with me yesterday to tell me about a warning message that he had received from the police in the London borough. This man is the father of a teenage girl attending a, a school in Greenwich. There have been two sexual assaults on teenage schoolgirls in the area and the police wanted to alert parents so that they could perhaps tell their daughters to be a little more careful. There was no description at all of the attacker in the message that the police sent to parents. One father contacted the police and asked for some kind of description, but the police still declined to provide one. This fact tells us that the person concerned is almost certainly black or foreign. In the description to this video, I give a link to a news item about this case. Most of us understand very well the code which is being used here, which is that no dis if no description is given, then the suspect is either black or foreign, or indeed sometimes both. The police in Greenwich did eventually give a description in this case, but the viewers may feel that it is rather less than helpful. They are looking for a slim man aged between 18 and 28 years old with short dark hair. Is this man white? Is he Asian? Black? We're not told, which clinches the fact that this is not a white Britisher, of course. I have heard a lot of speculation about the reason that the police are so coy when it comes to specifying that some suspect is a member of an ethnic minority. For example, when it is a sexual offence, they are eager not to reinforce prejudice by revealing that disproportionate numbers of such cases involve black men. We can see this easily enough for ourselves if we simply track down the Home Office figures for the ethnicity of offenders convicted of certain types of offence, but the police are worried about inflaming people's passions. In the same way, there is a popular perception that mugging is an offence carried out primarily by young black males of Caribbean origin. And so when they see somebody for a case of robbery from a person, the ethnicity is left out there as well. The ridiculous thing is that none of this fools anybody other than simple-minded guardian readers. Normal people are perfectly familiar with the convention and draw their own conclusions when the police refuse to say if a wanted criminal is Asian or black. Many of us are, of course, pretty shrewd at spotting the ethnicity of a criminal simply by the type of crime. A doctor in decently assaulting patients, for example, is sure to be from the Indian subcontinent. A man attacking somebody with a machete will be of Caribbean origin, and so on. I have a fairly sharp instinct for this myself, and during the hunt for the person who randomly attacked and beat to death a young teacher in Ireland, called Ashling Murphy, I had a strong suspicion that the person who carried out this attack would not be called Michael O'Grady or Dermot Kelly, but would probably be a foreigner. Sure enough, a short while later we learned that a Romanian alcoholic called Josef Pushka had been charged with her murder. I was wondering what viewers thought might be the reason for this general reticence on the part of the police to let us know what a suspect looks like so that we can keep our eyes open. At the moment in Greenwich, parents of teenage schoolgirls are looking out for a slim young man with short dark hair, but they have no idea at all what colour he is.